We want to lift up verse uh, 14 for just a moment. Uh, and the Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. I want to speak from this subject this evening. Anxiety, presence, and affirmation. Anxiety, presence, and affirmation. Many times the task and assignment that we have been given to do in life and in the, the kingdom of God are not necessarily easy tasks. As a matter of fact, our kingdom assignments can be quite arduous and challenging. And I say this partly because we are trying to complete God assignments with earthly people. <laughs> See, you have to have passed a little while to understand what I'm talking about there. We are trying to complete godly assignments with earthly people. And therefore, it can be somewhat arduous and challenging. I had a professor that would say to me when I was at North Carolina State University, he would say, well, the only thing I can tell you about human behavior is that it's unpredictable and uncontrollable. <laughs> and over the years, I have come to uh, glean a little truth in what he was saying, that just as soon as we think we got folks figured out, they show us that we really don't have them figured out. And it always keeps our assignment at risk, amen. But we know God. And then the second reason that I say it is somewhat arduous and challenging is because God himself, amen, have taken his divinity and put it in our humanity. <laughs> My God, my God, Paul, Paul would write in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 that uh, God has put his treasure in jars of clay. I'm talking about clay that gets in the way sometimes. <laughs> I'm talking about clay, amen, that lacks every now and then to have a mind of his own. God has put his treasure in our earthen vessels. And he said that I did this to always remind you, Willie May, that the all-surpassing power that operate in you is from God <laughs> and not from us. Amen. And, and that's an awesome reminder, amen, because every now and then our humanity tries to trap our divinity. Our humanity tries to shine a little bit brighter than our divinity. And it puts us back into a prayer posture where we have to look up and say, Now, God, if you don't help me now, <laughs> if you don't be with me now, amen, it's going to be a mess up in here. Amen. But God did that to always remind us, amen, that the power that operates in us is of God and not of ourselves. And I'm an educator, but I know there ain't no school in the land, <laughs> my God, that can cause this power to be effective as it ought to be. It takes God. Now, the school enhances us. The school prepares us and adorns us. But when it comes down to the real deal, baby, I know it ain't the school. It takes God himself. 